Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top five tips to debt freedom and to being successful with paying off debt. This video is in collaboration with some of my favorite fellow personal finance YouTubers. All of us have different strategies and methods for achieving financial success and financial peace. And we just wanna share with you guys some tips and tricks that you can implement if you too want to be successful during this journey. We have Michelle from the channel Elaine Michelle, Tanisha from the YouTube channel Fun and Budget with Tanisha Day. Davis, Nicole from Frugal Chic Life, Elena from The Organized Money, and Crystal from Crystal Maximizer. We are all actually going to be touching on different topics and we're going to be sharing with you guys our top five tips for those respective topics. Me personally, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my tips for paying off debt, but they will be talking about saving and investing and building generational wealth or just building wealth in general, among other things. So you'll definitely want to check out their videos. I will have their channels and their videos linked down in the description box. If you're watching this, then their videos are already live because we are all posting today at the exact same time. So definitely be sure to head on over there and check out their channels and their videos and give them a subscribe and tell them I sent you. Number one, understand that this is a marathon and not a sprint. There are some people who are going to be able to kind of sprint through this process, but in the grand scheme of things, not everyone is going to be able to pay off $5,000 of debt each month or be really intense or extreme with their debt payoff method. So I encourage everyone to just sit with where they are, appreciate where they are, know that they are making strides and they have a plan and they're working towards achieving financial freedom or you know debt freedom. There are tons of people who won't have $1,000 to put towards a debt or $2,000 to put towards a debt or et cetera, et cetera. But that makes your journey no less important than the next person's journey. In fact, personal finance are personal and nine times out of ten the only people who are going to be affected by your personal finance decisions are the people that you live with and your dependents. Literally no one else in the world is going to be heavily impacted by how you choose to spend your money or if you choose to embark on a debt freedom journey or if you choose to join the fire movement or whatever the case is. Personal finances are just that. So try not to get into the habit of comparing yourself to other people. Just sit with where you are. Paying off a whole bunch of debt if you have a whole bunch of debt is difficult. So just be proud of wherever you are. And again, understand that this is a marathon and not a sprint majority of the time. Tip number two, research and identify your debt payoff strategy or method. Technically, there are many different ways that you can attack your debt. I'm sure you've heard a lot about the snowball method where you are paying off your debts from smallest to largest. You may have also heard about the avalanche method that is paying off your debt from the highest interest to the lowest interest. I feel like those are the most common, but truth be told, they aren't the only methods to paying off debt by any means. Maybe you wanna pay off your debt by most stressful to least stressful. Maybe you're starting out on a debt freedom journey and you realize that that $750 truck payment is not going to cut it and you want to get rid of that truck payment ASAP so that you can free up all of that money that you're putting towards the minimum payment for the truck and put that towards another debt. Now, some people out there categorize debt by good debt and bad debt. Some people consider credit card debt to be bad debt while considering student loan debt to be good debt. Now, we're not gonna get into semantics here, but for some people, maybe it does make the most sense to start with attacking their revolving credit card debt before moving on to their student student loan debt. I bring that up because we're currently in a pandemic. A lot of student loans are in a forbearance. Interest is not accruing. Payments aren't due. Of course, this is a rare occasion that we are in a pandemic, but truth be told, since interest isn't accruing and nothing is really happening with a lot of people's student loan debt, maybe it does make sense to go ahead and tackle some other debt. Point of the story is everyone's financial situation is different. Only you can decide what debt payoff strategy is going to resonate best with you and your family and your financial situation. So again, while there are a number of debt payoff strategies. It is fully up to you to decide which strategy is going to work best for you. Tip number three is to seize additional debt spending. If you are drowning in debt, if your debt payments are taking up way too much of your monthly income, you're going to eventually, sooner hopefully rather than later, stop spending more than what you have. 
And I know that's easier said than done. I'm fully aware of that. But truth of the matter is, it's unlikely that you'll be able to stop the payday loan cycle if you continue to keep going back and getting more payday loans or stop the relying on credit cards to pay for your expenses because you don't actually have the income until you stop swiping your credit card. So that is why it is extremely important to halt taking out more payday loans, relying on credit cards when you don't actually have the income to afford said purchases, et cetera, et cetera. Tip number four, explore the option of additional income. I'm not saying that everyone is in a position where they can work more because that's not always the case. But if that is the case for you, and you really do want to get out of debt, it is going to make the world of difference if you can increase your income. Even if that means picking up a few extra shifts, working a little overtime, picking up a part-time job, or even starting a small business. The more money you have, the more gains you're going to be able to make. The more money you have, the larger shovel you'll have to put towards your debt payments and your debt. Tip number five is to not be afraid to treat yourself. In life, whenever there is a celebratory event, typically there is a celebration. This doesn't have to be anything super grand and realistically it should be relative to your accomplishment. So if you are able to put $2,000 towards debt in any given month, I don't think it's a bad idea to treat yourself, whether that is going out to eat or getting your nails done or getting your hair done or something like that. Again, these treats should be relative to what it is that you have accomplished. Again, in life, we celebrate a lot of different things. I don't think meeting your financial goals should be an exception. Again, I do want to emphasize this should be relative to what it is that you've accomplished. If you've paid off your first credit card of $1,000, it's probably not a good idea to purchase something that's $250 or $500 or something wild like that. But little treats here and there are necessary. And truth be told, not everybody is super interested in treating themselves. Some people go throughout their whole debt payoff journey and they don't treat themselves into the end, which is perfectly fine for some. But if you are a person who would just like a little bit of this or a little bit of that so you don't feel so restricted or the journey doesn't feel so sacrificial, then I say by all means. So those are the top five tips that I have for people who are looking to start a debt payoff journey or people who are looking to just kind of catapult their debt payoff journey. I hope that you guys found these tips to be helpful and useful. Please make sure that you check out the videos from the other ladies. I will be doing the same. I cannot wait to learn from them. I already watch all of them on the regular anyway because they're just such an inspiration to me. So definitely head on over to their channels and check out their videos. Again, links will be in the description box. Bye guys.